Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Super Nintendo, and, god damn it. So, Big Mouth, a show that nobody around me will ever shut the fuck up about. This is a show about, well, it's a coming of age story, basically, about a bunch of 13, 14 year old, like, young teenagers Basically going through puberty, discovering their bodies, and shit. Okay, so, I am of, I just finished episode 5 at the time of this recording. And I'm sure all of you who have seen up to and past episode 5 know what I'm talking about. But just in case... Somebody doesn't know what I'm talking about. This episode... Oh my god. It deals... It has a young teenage girl talking to her genitals. To her vagina. I feel like I'm... I'm when watching this, I'm just like, what the fuck? Why would they put this in a show? Like, I know in episode one, they had a bunch of, like, talking penises, but this wasn't a character talking to his own penis. This was a character who was, like, insecure and imagining, like, for some reason, everybody else turning into penises, which, granted, is weird, but at least it didn't feel like when you're watching it, it's like, okay, this is really, really uncomfortable. Like, just watching this, I feel like I'm put on a watch list or something. Like a pedophile watch list. I feel, while watching this, I'm on a pedophile watch list. And it's like, I'm at a loss for words. Why would you show this? And I, I know that every episode so far has had one or more characters basically jerking off on camera, but you never really see them do it. It's like the camera will like zoom out, so it's basically like how you see me here, and then like you have the sound effects, but you never see the character doing it. So, it's just, what the fuck? You know, like, like seriously, what the fuck? And I feel like I'm far enough that I can just do my thoughts on the show. Because, like, five episodes, I've seen enough of the show whether or not to say whether or not I want to continue or whether I want to drop the show and never look back. It's just... Yeah, no, I'm dropping the show and never looking back because I don't want to be associated with this garbage garbage the show only made me laugh twice and they were just really stupid jokes that i wasn't even sure if i should be laughing at or if i should be kind of like creeped out over or like confused over so like my natural response in those types of situations is i laugh so it's and like I don't like any of the characters. I don't find any of them, like, relatable. I mean, you want to know how I spent my adolescence? I was basically, when I wasn't, like, now, like how I am now, like a big fucking goofball or an idiot, or I was just really sleepy all the time, I was basically a fucking rage monster destroying, destroying everything in my path and attacking anything I could see. That's how I spent my adolescence. And most of my life, for that matter. It... The, like, I have nothing to relate to in this show. So, if, like, the relatability was one of the hooks... Well, you failed on that front. I don't even think, like, little... Like, the target age group, like, 13-year-olds would get into this. Because they have so many references to shit that kids would not be aware of. Like, there's a ghost of an old music person, um, Donnie William, or 
I want to say Donnie Williams. I, I don't know what the name is. I might put him put his name on screen. Um, it's like this is a character I've never heard of, and f from what I gather, I've seen a good number of reviews from other YouTubers. Most of them don't know who the fuck he was either before he was in the show. So, and they're like a good five years at least older than me, and. Yeah, no. It's like... Shit like that, no. You, even, like, little kids, like... Well, not little kids, like, 13-year-olds, like, if they watch this. Because, you know, like, when you're, when you're 13, 14, you're probably going to watch South Park or Family Guy or American Dad or something to that matter. Um, you've probably been watching Simpsons since you were a really little kid. And it's like, no. Like... There are still some jokes in Family Guy and a South Park that I don't get. But, like, watching it now as an adult versus back back how I used to watch it when I was, like, 15, 16, around there. Like, there's so much more that I find funny. Same thing with Rocco's Modern Life. I feel like I got way far off the topic. Um, Big Mouth. Uh, the character designs don't look appealing. They all look like that sad frog thing that people use in memes all the time. And the character designs are so, like, messed up that when you have, like, a shot reverse shot where the character is like this, like how you guys see me now, you can see, like, the character's really puffed up lips on like the side of their head and it looks like they have like lip cancer or something. You know, it's like that's not how you design characters and like their the weird gem eyes it's 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 disturbing. It looks like they're like re it never looks like they are looking where they are looking. And then each character has like a forehead that is like Jimmy Neutron's forehead where it's like like this is how big their fucking forehead is, dude. It's like you you gotta you either have a really large brain or you're a fucking moron. And considering most of the characters in the show, it seems to be leaning to the moron case. It's <coughs> sorry. It's just why why would anybody watch this show? You know, like. I, I've seen most of BoJack Horseman. I was on season four, but I, I'm i re-watching the show because it's been a while since I've seen it and I want to refresh my memory. Um, or since I have no memory to refresh, rather just uh, watch the whole thing again to be like, oh, okay, that, that's what happened. Um, you know, like so I can get back up to where I was. And, like, Bojack Horseman, this, Bojack is way better in this fucking show. God damn. And, like, I haven't even seen the, the, uh, Magic School Bus reboot, or continuation, or whatever the fuck that thing's supposed to be. It's just, might as well go watch that, because, like, you know, I, I used to watch a lot of the Magic School Bus when I was young, from what I remember. From the vague amounts that I remember as a kid. Um, so maybe I'll have more to talk about that. But Big Mouth, you're just a big failure. This is, so, what do you think of Big Mouth? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you, do you want to carve out my insides for saying something terrible about Big Mouth? I, I don't know why I did that. Let me know in the comment section down below and fuck Big Mouth.